Is that what Jane said you'd do before you killed her? Yes, I know she's your mum. Doesn't mean you have to call me dad or anything if we get it on. Sam was going out with Jane. It was him who got her pregnant. I didn't kill her. I didn't have an affair. Margaret did. Oh, my secret's not leaving this room. So you promise not to tell. slide. Mm -hmm. Not gonna die. I did love you, Max. Still do. I love Don as well. I'm not arrogant. I'm not saying I'm mad enough for more than one woman. It's, it's just the way I feel. And now I've lost you both. It's funny. When I first heard you'd had an affair, didn't hurt, weren't real. It hurts like hell now. But don't you worry. Roxanne's not going to know your secret. It's about time I had something pinned on me. And there's no one else I'd sooner take the rap for. I'll do right by you, Max. Promise. Fly up hard, Dad. Good lad. Gotta stop you know, son. Trying it on with a woman twice your age. But there's less years between me and Mrs. Brake than you and Donna. Yes, but she's still married, isn't she? That's not right. It didn't stop you having an affair, though, did it? Just because I set a bad example, you don't have to follow it. Let me know I'd have made a pot. <laughs> Sorry, Duncan. Right. Of course, uh, you two are playing wink murder, right? <laughs> no, no, of course not. That would uh, involve more than two people. Josh doesn't like playing games, do you, Josh? Depends what the stakes are. No point taking risks for no reason. Everyone's got something to lose. Some more than others. Um, look, I, I, I'm not going to pretend I know what's going on here, but, uh, Alex, shouldn't you let Roxanne know where you are? She'll be as scared as hell. It's all right. I was just leaving. I tell you what, Duncan. You shouldn't always suspect the worst of people. Things might not be as they first appear. Right, George? Whatever you say. Grandmother's got room for you in there. Alex, uh, what are you doing here? 
I didn't think you cared about what other people did in their little bubbles. Yeah, well, sorry. No, I know you just want a son of your own. You're right, Dennis. I just know what you mean about wanting another bloke around. That mum's got it all sewn up. There's a little secret she doesn't let you in on. You should be glad of it. The secrets only cut you off from the inside. Want to know what are my secrets? I know someone who James is in love with. Sam. He was the one she had the abortion with. Well, he didn't tell me. Mum did. He said it hurt him too much. But still, we're supposed to be best mates. Dennis, wait. Of course Sam couldn't let it out. I mean, a secret like that. Imagine what everyone would have thought of him. He probably just figures it's better to punish himself than let others do it for him. I told you, Miss Doyle, no one is trying to kill you. Yeah, well, you can say that now. What about all those letters? Oh, hmm? They were a mistake. I was being irresponsible and I've learned from that now. Yeah, right. Well, you know what? We're all going to die, young lady. That you can count on. All right, sweetheart. Did you miss me? And where were you last night? I, uh, I spent the night with Duncan. Little emergency. It really freaked out when I asked him to be a godparent. Oh. So you left me all night long for that, right? Sure you weren't with Steph? You did tell me you didn't love me when we conceived this baby. I felt lost. Thought to myself something in common with the people here. He does, Miss Doyle, more than you realise. And Steph? Uh, that, that's not who Alex came to see. Just, <sighs> you must really hate me. <laughs> you know, you just think we've got nothing in common. I did love you nine months ago. Just like I always have. Whatever was going on. Well, what did happen, Alex? So what's it going to be, then? You do what you want. I'm going to my family. Nothing. Jane... Jane and Sam. Their baby, Dennis told me. Their baby was an accident, too. Look at how we deal with it that matters. Has Kate let you out on good behaviour? Forget Kate. I know you don't love Lydia. You feel guilty because of Jane. That's why you want to go out with those girls. And that's why you want to look after Ben and Lucy. And that's why you're now saying you want to be with Lydia. And what's more, that's the reason you can't marry a girl you don't love. Ah, a few home truths, is it? Have you managed to persuade him not to marry that completely inappropriate girl? No, he hasn't. And if you want to talk about wrong girls... Tell Dennis about Kate. Oh, don't do this, Sam. You know the truth. Yeah, the truth is I love Lydia and I'm going to marry her. The only reason why you're with Kate is because she wants to make me jealous. Isn't that right, Aunt Rachel? Oh, Ross is gone. We need to talk. About what? About Jane. You know I didn't kill her. Maybe she'll come back. Hmm. And like Steph did. And she'll have moved on. You know what Jane was like. How's your chest? I'm sorry about last night. You won't tell anyone. Anyone what? Tell her loves you. Break her heart. You care about her that much? Why don't you ask her out? As in, ow, ow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eight-ish? Eight. I'll see you later, Josh. Darling, I'm sorry, but I, I really do need you here tonight. Mum, you've been saying that for days. Nothing's happened. Wait. I never got a chance to say goodbye tonight. Mum, I'm not you. Look, I'm going out with Josh tonight. You can't stop me. Tell it. Why don't you want Sam to marry Lydia? 
Exactly. You know why? Because she's just wrong. And you want him for yourself. You're only going out with me so you can make him jealous. I know. Rachel told me. No. I don't know why you're bothered. He's hardly really jealous of me, is he? He would be. Dennis, I don't think you're stupid. Well, I do. But it doesn't mean that I don't like you. No more than Sam. Not now that I know you. Mum. It's baby. Roxy started... Did she mention me? No. Uh, she wanted me to be there. What are you waiting for then? Well, you don't mind me being there at the birth of your baby. Look, whatever's happened between us two in the past has nothing to do with this baby. Or us two now. I'm sorry I've been acting the way I have, bringing up things that should have been left long ago. But this baby's a fresh start for all of us. Well, go on, then. You're going to miss a start unless you get a move on. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Fee. You had a word with Mike recently. Sure he'd be willing to admit he's wrong if he thought he had a chance of getting back with you and Tom. It's not as simple as him just taking the blame for something. It is, if you do it for the right reasons. Now, why don't you just tell me what you think he's done wrong? Charlie, Mike and I are having a trial separation. If, and I'm saying if, not when, on purpose, we get back together, it won't be because of you or your family's interference. If it's not working, don't fix it. So, uh, do you fancy a trial affair? You're just there, aren't you? Like some constant reminder of all the things I've done wrong. You're selfish, you're responsible. You think you can just blunder through life with no comeback to your actions. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't work like that. Take it from me. Because if you don't, you won't find out till it's too late. I can't do it, see? I suppose now you're going to tell me it's too late. That's what this baby's all about, isn't it? Mm, bringing us all together. We should forget what happened in the past. Hmm. stupid mum you are not going to die no, of course you're not we'll take you to the hospital now if you want no no i want this to be in my own bed if it's gonna happen <sighs> she wanted you here to do the last rites <laughs> don't be ridiculous well all right then don't i still want you both to be friends though <sighs> not if you're going to die so what's it going to be, Roxanne? OK. All right, I might just stick around a bit longer. <laughs> no. You'll soon be in this position with your missus. Well, she's not up the duff already, is she? No, just fat. All right, come on. This is a happy time, OK? She's my fiancé, Alex. I love her. Do you? I mean, really. I know about Jane, Sam. I know about you and her and the abortion. And I know what she was like. People think they do, but... When I know her, she was nice, OK? There's still no reason for you to marry someone you don't love just because you feel guilty. But just remember you get other chances, OK? tried it either. You did it better, though. Baby's going to be really lucky to have you as a dad. Dennis? Well, I thought I was jealous of the girls because 
They belonged more you know, to the house, the bed. In the end, it's because they got you. I saw you, Dennis. Look, when this baby's born, uh, I'm going to be a better dad to all of you. You can come in now, Dad. Oh. <sighs> I wanted you to be the last person I saw. <laughs> this is going to be a beautiful baby, Rox. Mm. A good thing out of a bad thing. What, are you calling me a bad thing now? <laughs> no. I mean, everything that was bad between us, you know, nine months ago. I'm sorry. Mm. It wasn't just you, you know. Mm. I hated not being in control. So I've got to do this at home, in my bed, you know, but... Oh, my body's just taking over. I mean, <laughs> oh, I just got to trust it, don't I? Like, I've got to trust you. Mm -hmm. What, long labour giving you a long face? I knew it. I told her from the start she wasn't going to die. She just wanted to keep me here, stop me from doing things. I'm sure that's not the reason. Then what is? It's just irrational, like the way she's accusing you of having an affair. She thinks I had an affair because I told her so, that's fair enough. As for dying, I suppose she's just scared. Has things changing lots? I know I am. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah. Get, get in there. <sighs> uh, right. <sighs> oh. Oh, oh. Natalie, we need you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We just can't wait to get up here. I suppose nine months is a long time. <laughs> yeah, long enough to forget what got me here in the first place. I won't forget. Besides, there were some good times in amongst the bad. Look, I don't deserve another chance on that day. But I just want to know. I just want to know what you want. I don't know what I want anymore, Charlie. If we had kids, I'd do a better job with them than I've done so far. I promise. No, Charlie. No. No to children. It feels like you're putting a limit on us, a condition. I've never had that before. You did that when you lied to me. I lied to you twice. I didn't have an affair. It was Margaret, after all. But I couldn't tell Roxy that. What uh, about me? I wanted to show you I could be responsible, too. I didn't want to admit that Margaret had gone elsewhere. In case it made you think of doing the same. more girlfriend or best friend? Look, you realise I can't be your best man if you're going to marry Lydia. Yeah, but I love her, Dennis. Granddad, take a look, see yet? Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Roxy. I told him we should wait. No, baby, that's okay. In fact, I think Grandma should be next in line after Mummy and Daddy. <laughs> I'm pleased for you, Roxy. You know that. Your mum would be proud of you. And she would be so proud. 
that you have had it in your special bed. So oh, my father, sister. Uh, look, maybe you should just all wait outside for a moment. Nothing wrong. It's just a question of hygiene, and uh, the baby needs to get to know its mother first. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, there's something wrong, isn't there? 